A standard illuminant is a theoretical source of visible light with a profile which is published. Standard illuminants provide a basis for comparing images or colors recorded under different lighting. CIE Illuminants, the International Commission on Illumination is the body responsible for publishing all of the well-known standard illuminants. Each of these is known by a letter or by a letter number combination. Illuminants A, B, and C were introduced in 1931 with the intention of respectively representing average incandescent light, direct sunlight, and average daylight. Illuminants D represent phases of daylight, illuminant E is the equal energy illuminant, while illuminants F represent fluorescent lamps of various composition. There are instructions on how to experimentally produce light sources corresponding to the older illuminants. For the relatively newer ones, Experimenters are left to measure to profiles of their sources and compare them to the published spectra. At present no artificial source is recommended to realize CIE standard illuminant D65 or any other illuminant D of different CCT. It is hoped that new developments in light sources and filters will eventually offer sufficient basis for a CIE recommendation. Nevertheless, they do provide a measure, called the Tamerism Index to assess the quality of daylight simulators. The Mtamerism Index tests how well five sets of Mtamer examples match under the test and reference illuminant. In a manner similar to the color rendering index, the average difference between the Mtamers is calculated. Illuminant A, the CIE defines illuminant A in these terms. CIE standard illuminant A is intended to represent typical, domestic, tungsten filament lighting. Its relative spectral power distribution is that of a Planckian radiator at a temperature of approximately 2856 a K. CIE standard illuminant A should be used in all applications of colorimetry involving the use of incandescent lighting, unless there are specific reasons for using a different illuminant. The spectral radiance of a black body follows Planck's law. At the time of standardizing illuminant A, both and were different. In 1968, the estimate of C2 was revised from 0.01438 to mark A to 0.01438A to mark A. This difference shifted the Planckian locus, changing the color temperature of the illuminant from its nominal 2848K to 2856K. In order to avoid further possible changes in the color temperature, the CIE now specifies the SPD directly, based on the original value of C2. The coefficients have been selected to achieve a peak SPD of 100 at 560 nm. The tristimulus values are equals, and the chromaticity coordinates using the standard observer are equals, 0 0.44758, 0 0.40745. Illuminance B and C, Illuminance B and C are daylight simulators. They are derived from illuminant A by using the liquid filters. B served as a representative of noon sunlight, with a correlated color temperature of 48.74 K, while C represented average daylight with a CCT of 67.74 K. They are poor approximations of any common light source and deprecated in favor of the D series. Illuminant C does not have the status of a CIE standard but its relative spectral power distribution, Tristimulus values and chromaticity coordinates are given in Table T1 and Table T3, as many practical measurement instruments and calculations still use this illuminant. The liquid filters, designed by Raymond Davis, J.R. and Casson S. Gibson in 1931, have a relatively high absorbance at the red end of the spectrum, effectively increasing the CCT of the gas lamp to daylight levels. This is similar in function to a CTO color gel that photographers and cinematographers use today, albeit much less convenient. Each filter uses a pair of solutions, comprising specific amounts of distilled water, copper sulfate, manite, pyridine, sulfuric acid, cobalt, and ammonium sulfate. The solutions are separated by a sheet of uncolored glass. The amounts of the ingredients are carefully chosen so that their combination yields a color temperature conversion filter. That is, the filtered light is still white. Illuminant series D. Derived by Judd, McAdam, and Aseki, the D series of illuminants are constructed to represent natural daylight. 
they are difficult to produce artificially, but are easy to characterize mathematically. H. W. Budd of the National Research Council of Canada in Ottawa, H. R. Condit and F. Grum of the Eastman Kodak Company in Rochester, New York, and S. T. Henderson and D. Hodgkiss of Thorne Electrical Industries in Enfield have independently measured the spectral power distribution of daylight from 330 to 700 nm, totaling among them 622 samples. Judd A. L. Analyzed these samples and found that the chromaticity coordinates had a simple, quadratic relation. Simmons supervised the characteristic vector analysis of the SPDs. Application of his method revealed that the SPDs could be satisfactorily approximated by using the mean and first two characteristic vectors. In simpler terms, the SPD of the studied daylight samples can be expressed as the linear combination of three, fixed SPDs. The first vector is the mean of all the SPD samples, which is the best reconstituted SPD that can be formed with only a fixed vector. The second vector corresponds to yellow-euro-blue variation, accounting for changes in the correlated color temperature due to presence or absence of clouds or direct sunlight. The third vector corresponds to pink-euro-green variation caused by the presence of water in the form of vapor and haze. To construct a daylight simulator of a particular correlated color temperature one merely needs to know the coefficients m1 and m2 of the characteristic vectors s1 and s2, expressing the chromaticities x and y as, and making use of known tristimulus values for the mean vectors, they were able to express m1 and m2 as follows. The only problem is that this left unsolved the computation of the coordinate for a particular phase of daylight. Judd al simply tabulated the values of certain chromaticity coordinates, corresponding to commonly used correlated color temperatures, such as 5500 Ak, 6500 Ak, and 7500 Ak. For other color temperatures, one could consult figures made by Kelly. This problem was addressed in the CIE report that formalized Illuminant D, with an approximation of the x-coordinate in terms of the reciprocal color temperature, valid from 4000 Ak to 25000 Ak. The y-coordinate trivially followed from Judd's quadratic relation. Judd al. then extended the reconstituted SPDs to 300 a Euro 330 nm and 700 a Euro 830 nm by using Moon's spectral absorbance data of the Earth's atmosphere. The tabulated SPDs presented by the CIE today are derived by linear interpolation of the 10 nm data set down to 5 nm. The limited nature of the photometric data is not an impediment to the calculation of the CX tristimulus values since the CIE standard colorimetric observer's color matching functions are only tabulated from 380 to 780 nm in increments of 5 nm. Similar studies have been undertaken in other parts of the world or repeating Judd AAL's analysis with modern computational methods. In several of these studies, the daylight locus is notably closer to the Planckian locus than in Judd AL. Computation, the relative spectral power distribution of a D-series illuminant can be derived from its chromaticity coordinates in the CIE 1931 color space, where T is the illuminant CCT. The chromaticity coordinates of the illuminants D are said to form the CIE daylight locus. The relative SPD is given by Where are the mean and first two eigenvector SPDs, depicted above? The characteristic vectors both have a zero at 560 nm, since all the relative SPDs have been normalized about this point. The CCTs of the canonical illuminants, D50, D55, D65 and D75, differ slightly from what their names suggest. For example, D50 has a CCT of 5003 Ak, while D65 has a CCT of 6504 Ak. As explained in a previous section, this is because the value of the constants in Planck's law have been slightly changed since the definition of these canonical illuminants, whose SPDs are based on the original values in Planck's law. In order to match all significant digits of the published data of the canonical illuminants the values of M1 and M2 have to be rounded to three decimal places before calculation of SD. Illuminant E, Illuminant E is an equal energy radiator. It is a constant SPD inside the visible spectrum. 
it is useful as a theoretical reference. An illuminant that gives equal weight to all wavelengths, presenting an even color. It also has equal CIEXYZ tristimulus values, thus its chromaticity coordinates are equals, 13. This is by design. The XYZ color matching functions are normalized such that their integrals over the visible spectrum are the same. Illuminant E is not a black body, so it does not have a color temperature, but it can be approximated by a D-series illuminant with a CCT of 5455K. Manufacturers sometimes compare light sources against illuminant E to calculate the excitation purity. Illuminant series F, the F series of illuminants represent various types of fluorescent lighting. F1 a Euro F6 standard fluorescent lamps consist of two semi-broadband emissions of antimony and manganese activations in calcium halophosphate phosphor. F4 is of particular interest since it was used for calibrating the CIE color rendering index. F7 a Euro F9 are broadband fluorescent lamps with multiple phosphors, and higher CRIs. Finally, F10 a Euro F12 a narrow triband illuminance consisting of three narrow band emissions in the R, G, B regions of the visible spectrum. The phosphor weights can be tuned to achieve the desired CCT. The spectra of these illuminants are published in publication 15 2004. White point. The spectrum of a standard illuminant, like any other profile of light, can be converted into tristimulus values. The set of three tristimulus coordinates of an illuminant is called a white point. If the profile is normalized, then the white point can equivalently be expressed as a pair of chromaticity coordinates. If an image is recorded in tristimulus coordinates, then the white point of the illuminant used gives the maximum value of the tristimulus coordinates that will be recorded at any point in the image, in the absence of fluorescence. It is called the white point of the image. The process of calculating the white point discards a great deal of information about the profile of the illuminant, and so although it is true that for every illuminant the exact white point can be calculated, it is not the case that knowing the white point of an image alone tells you a great deal about the illuminant that was used to record it. White points of standard illuminants, a list of standardized illuminants, their CIE chromaticity coordinates of a perfectly reflecting diffuser, and their correlated color temperatures are given below. The CIE chromaticity coordinates are given for both the 2 degree field of U and the 10 degree field of U. The color swatches represent the hue of each white point, calculated with luminance Y equals 0.54 and the standard observer, assuming correct sRGB display calibration. References External links, selected colorimetric tables in Excel as published in CIE 15 2004, Conica Minolta Sensing, Light Sources and Illuminance.